All right, we are here on hole number one. Welcome back. Just like last time, I'm Ben Utah, and this is, well, frankly, I, it's kind of embarrassing to call this golf, but this has been Utah golf. We have an obelisk in the middle of the fairway, and I think I've found myself left on my layup, but I think we're gonna be okay. Oh yes, sir. Always hit a flop shot from the fringe. Oh no, if I reach that bunker, I'm gonna snap a club. Oh, I did it, I made contact. I just saw the ball just straight into a goose and I was like, oh no. Let's hit a driver on a part three. Is that a green and reg? That's a green and regulation, let's go. This is why you subscribe to the channel. All right, according to the starter, this is the number one starting hole in all of Colorado. Or not, let's do that. That's probably bad. We found ourselves in the left rough after a terrible, terrible layup. I think I have 100-ish yards. I don't know, who cares? Just be the distance. Just, just get there. All right, I'll take that. We're putting for birdie. All right, I'd love to start with a four here. Back nine started right. <laughs> I don't know, there's a point in reading these things. Okay, another par. Keep kicking them in. Hole number two here, we got another drivable par four attempt. It's about 315, but it's downhill. Let's see what we got here. Not like that. All right, 57 yards, here we go. Release. I don't know. I got no answers. Thinking about instituting an automatic two putt roll with these greens. <laughs> I have no idea. Approach shot stops on a dime, putts release 84 feet. Who knows? Yeah, why would it fall? Not for me. Or get a huge kick. Yes, that kind of kick. I love this course. It's like you could just miss wherever and it all funnels back. To the green. Just just miss wherever out there and it all funnels down. Awesome. Birdie putt again on hole three. Just notice how many times I'm saying birdie putt and how many over par I am. Just to get an understanding of just how uh, pathetic these greens are. I think my average distance to the hole has got to be 74 feet or something. has got to get there. It just has to. I understand I signed up for winter golf. But to charge $50 for this is criminal. Back home, I could play a horse twice as good three days a week for that. It's a joke. Settle, settle. Settle, please, that's a good ball. All right, fun times. That is through the fairway and in the water. I think I have at least one too many clubs. But I found my good ball. That's really, that's a win today. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we'll take that. I was so scared I was gonna hit that goose. 
I heard it coming in and I was, I just saw the ball just straight into a goose and I was like, oh no, that's not what, that's not what we want to have on this channel. But we're, we're fine. No geese were harmed in the making of maybe one of the best shots of the day. Look at this bunker. This is, this is wild. Imagine, imagine sitting here in this bunker and trying to hit to this pen. I mean, holy cow. What do you do? What do you do? A little left to right down the hill to save par. Wow. I turned hard at the end. That's a shame. That is a shame. Another bogey on the card. All right, we have a 100 yard par three here. Yeah, from the backs. So this one's a little bit of a cheeky little hole here. I don't know if you can see the power lines in the video, but uh, it's actually very interesting. I love the, the look of this. Sit hard, oh my lord. Spin a, a bunch. So if you hole it and not the one that the flag is in, I'm counting. you count it? I'm, I'm counting. <laughs> yeah, I'm counting. Are you kidding me? Part of the reason you clicked on this video is to find out what this course is like. And I feel like I've ragged on it pretty hard up until this point. Um, unfairly, I understand it's the winter. Some of these green complexes and bunkering would be amazing if it had grass. However, to be honest, most of this golf course is on the road. If we look over here at uh, FedEx office and Ace Hardware, I just was expecting a little more, I don't know, present. I mean, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. And there's some of that. But I don't know. I just, most of the golf course is on the road and it's loud. And I just, I, I wasn't ready for that. Again, I'm playing quite a bit of break here. That last one snapped hard at the end. The speed, I mean, the speed is a total guess, though. First part of this putt, sandy. Yeah, the sand killed it. Ah, it snapped, though. That's the first, line. first actual decent roll of today. Card says 409. Oh, we got a pot bunker that is 275 yards right in the middle of the fairway. That is a brutal distance to put that thing at. Not that long of a course. We're playing from about 67, 6800 today. That's low and I will take it. it should run, hopefully not into that bunker. Boy, is that gonna be an experience. I have 128 to this flag. I typically hit my gap wedge 125. We're uphill. Well, the wind's behind us. But the way stuff's going, I think I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit everything too far. This is too far as time to shine right here. Also, if I shank this, just look at that. Just look at that. Just think about that. That's not the ball. Blooper. That is a blade of all blades. But I think we'll be okay. Turn, turn. Oh, I didn't trust it. See what I can do in a green that's passable? I can actually get close. I can get close, but it has grass. Ah, another par. Let's see if we can't get a birdie. 370 yard hole, pretty short. We're gonna lay up short of that massive bunker out there. If you can't see it, I'm gonna dub over a picture of it here. Cause that is beautiful. Let's just get something in the fairway. Bounce, bounce, give me a good bounce, please. We got about 133 yards here uphill over a massive bunker. Draw, draw a little bit. 
Goal one was get over the bunker. That's a success. Let's go see how far we got. Oh, I didn't trust it. Stay up, stay up. I didn't trust it. Oh my goodness. We like the Z-Tap in pars. If you're liking what you're seeing, go ahead and tap that like button, tap that subscribe button. We're gonna go to hole eight. I mean, 17. I mean, whatever you want. Two to play on plus seven. Wow, that hurts to say. Maybe I shouldn't tell the viewers what I'm at so they'll think I'm good. Let's go right off the corner of that right bunker. A little bit of a draw. Or just try to drive over it. Please hit it really hard or saw it. Lance off, Lance off. I think that's straight in. What a great shot though, I hit that really well. That's gonna hurt. Dang it. I hope that, hey, that bunker might be tarped for winter. I might get a free drop. Fingers crossed. Welcome to the Ben Utah Studios. We're having some audio and technical difficulties on course, so we will be broadcasting the remainder of the round from here. Now, let's take a look in live as Ben attempts his approach shot on 17. Looks like he has about 115 yards left, and he's gonna go with the 56 degree. That's hit really well and right at it. Either Seems close. to like it. It's online. And that's gonna leave him about 17 feet for birdie. He'll take that. Putter's been cold today. Not a lot working with the putter. Let's see if he can pour one in here for the first birdie of the day. Get there, get there, get there. Ask him for it to go. It needs to go. It does. What a finish from Ben Utah to put the birdie away on 17. Get some grass, make a putt. That's how it goes. Let's move on here to hole 18, 626 yards. This is a beast and he has striped it. Right down the middle, that will play. He's got a five wood, but no chance of going for the green in two here. Just trying to get it as far down in play as possible. Oh, he doesn't like it. And for good reason, that is headed left and hooking. Needs to hang on to the fairway and it looks like it will. He's gonna have a little bit less than 150 for his approach. This is an interesting decision here. He's got a pitching wedge out and he's attempting to hit a cut. Despite not hitting a cut in the last 15 years, Ben Utah has inexplicably chosen his worst shot for his final approach. Yep, as expected there, it's headed left. This is a classic double cross and really just what happens when you put a player that only hits draws over a ball that needs a cut. Unfortunate and that's gonna settle pin high but in deep rough. Well, he's left himself this chip shot pinned high, and he is really aggressive with these practice swings. Seems like he's really going to try to hack this out of maybe some thicker rough here. Or just do that, completely blaze it past the pin, give himself a nice downhill slider to try to save his par and not give away that birdie. Well struck. Oh, and it just burns the edge. Seems to sum up his round today. Nothing going for him on the greens. He's going to finish that one off for bogey, and we're going to send this one back down to the course to wrap it up. Ben, take us home. That's Fossil Trace Golf Club. I wish we had a little better conditions out here today, but such is the winter golf in Colorado. Enjoyed it. All in all, pretty decent round. Obviously, some incredible views here. Hate that I finish with a bogey. That is ugly. But you know what? 79 sounds bad and it looked bad but it felt way better than a 79. I hit a ton of greens but uh, it's hard to make putts when there's not a lot of grass to be frank. But I'm, I appreciate you riding along. This is the conclusion to our two-week journey here and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next round.